Welcome to the patio. Welcome to the patio. We're going to share with you our thoughts on the uh, passing of Queen Elizabeth. Is that her name, I think? Queen Elizabeth, yes. Queen Elizabeth II. That, that, we got rapid fire that, for you. And then sexy uh, thing. we're going to talk to you about the Super Bowl. Uh, who we think is going to be the uh, favorite to win the Super Bowl, at least each of our favorites. Maybe not a consensus favorite, but we're going to share that with you. So, uh, some bad news this week, right? It was so sad. It I, was sad. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I made fun of it, but it's sad. After 73 years. Our the, Canadian uh, buddy wasn't sad about it. Don't uh, say that. No, well, I mean, we don't, have, we don't have a queen to deal with. He does. But after, uh, but is that his queen? Well, not now he's a man. I don't know. Leonard says, screw that chick. I mean, they're on, they're on their money. But but after 73 mm-hmm. years, a uh, icon, at least for... Uh, oh, she's an icon, yeah. Uh, around the globe, Queen Elizabeth passed away, right? After 73 years. 73 years, yeah. Yep. 73 years. She died at well, the no, age no. of She passed away after 96, but... Yeah. But yeah, she's, but uh, she's she was on the throne for uh, 73 or for something like that. 73 years. Uh, that's, that's, that's what crazy. my wife my wife says. I sit on the throne that long, too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will say this. Once again, America wins. Uh, she didn't outlast uh, uh, Betty White. Betty White was ninety nine. I think. I think. I think, I, we go, beat her. I think we should go back over there and throw all their tea in the ocean again. In the bag. Uh, all their teeth. That's already all happened. Their teeth. Their, their teeth. Their teeth already, I think gone. the teeth's already gone. All their but, teeth. But one thing that came to my mind. Love you, Britain. Is, look, we all know who the Queen Elizabeth is, but what does she actually do? What does the Queen do? Because they uh, actually a have a parliament. Head. They actually have a uh, prime chancellor, prime minister. Prime minister. Word, I, you know what? If I was a citizen of a uh, of Great Britain, now would be a great great time to do away with the monarchy. So apparently, in Great Bit Britain, if you get an inherited, a Great Bit is that what happens when the dog great, comes around? I, I had a little bit of a lie to Craig Small Batch as we spoke on earlier. The Great but, Dane, um, Great Britain. So apparently, there, you, if you get an inheritance, you got to give like forty percent of it back to the government. But that's well, it's kind of like America. Hold on. <laughs> that's America. Hold on. It's taxation. But right? that's that's waived in order to preserve the monarchy. Oh, but what a, does what does the monarchy do? So we got a King Charles. I think he went for third, right? Yeah, I don't know, I was, but I saw that meme that said uh, "Congratulations to the seventy three year old man that finally got a <laughs> job." Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> there were some great memes, and I look. I, I put ones. a TikTok out for those that watch my TikTok, or I'm sorry, those that watch our TikTok. They for some reason these fools gave me pro. Uh, of ability to run it and uh, <laughs> terrible idea. I know it was a terrible idea. We got major hate. There were some butt hurt uh, English people over uh, my TikToks. I think they were American. They were upset, Jamie. I don't know one guy called her mum. Nah, he was. Mom. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, "I don't think this chap is uh, insulting mum." So he wasn't. He wasn't butt hurt. He was bum hurt. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was bum hurt. <laughs> then he asked me for a fag. So check this out. <laughs> I can't say that. It's a cigarette. It's a cigarette. <laughs> it's a account. cigarette. Yeah. I mean, so she I, was never. Did he call me a Nancy boy? And I can say that because my mom was named Nancy. So ooh. Oh. I'm not even sure what that was, but I was Nancy's boy. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth was never supposed to be queen. Um, I don't know. She yeah, was, the, so I was abdicated. Uh, abdicated by her uncle as he proposed marriage yes. to a divorced socialite who was yeah. also who was also a uh, <laughs> hardcore Nazi, I believe. Is that, my, that, is what you're reading uh, telling you that? If my no. wife ever leaves me for all my mistakes, can y'all call me a divorce socialite? That sounds much better. <laughs> I think you can call yourself anything these days. <laughs> Look, one of the best things I read, it was a, it was a eulogy for the queen. It, and it said uh, she was a devoted wife to her cousin. <laughs> That's exactly right. I just read that. That was her. That her husband were, was. Uh, I didn't know the queen was from Arkansas. They were second cousins, <laughs> but they were second cousins were once removed. So. She died a devoted wife to her cousin. She's from Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama. They were <laughs> actually three. multiple cousins. They were oh. second cousins once removed. Who knew Buckingham was a trailer? King Christian the Ninth of Denmark. I'm gonna buggy him trailer. I'll be right back. And third cousins through Queen Victoria. I think they're from Broadway Trailer Park. Actually, right? they were meth dealers, <laughs> definitely. Oh, God bless you, Queen. God save the Queen. Yeah. We, we 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 say this a jest because uh because it's funny. <laughs> But what does the queen do? So, like, no, what, is she King, is, she's what, a figure. what is King Charles going to do? The parliament does everything. Yes. She, she, it look, you know, I think the price is like, for like nine bucks a person. We can get a queen. 
So look, I've been some places I ain't never been over there. Um, I really think the parliament runs everything now. I don't really yeah. think the monarchy does a whole lot. No, no, I think no, they no. have like they ha- they give insight on the board, right? But I don't think they're actually pulling weight like back in the day, right? No, oh, no. What they are is an action figure you <laughs> bought, a so, collectible action figure you put up on the so shelf look, and you just let them sit there. This is this is so terrible. the queen is the GI Joe with the GI Kung Fu group exactly Listen. that you don't open. <laughs> Jamie does said nothing. so. We I posted in the little our little group right our message group. And I said, the queen died. And Jamie said, oh, my gosh, what happened? I said, man, she's old. And Jamie said, I thought she died in combat. <laughs> <laughs> died in battle, man. That's where you spot this for Roy to die. She had a sword. She died in battle. Oh like, you know, she could have been in a pub fight. There's a lot of stuff that could happen. I'd be, that- I'd be scared if I saw the queen in a pub fight, you know. In the pub, for, for one, she shouldn't be there. Look, I did That's see a place. video of the queen the other day shooting, like, a fifty cal machine gun. Which was pretty freaking I sweet. saw that. Like, but she you, was a lot younger. But you know what? You know what? No matter how hard she wants to be, it's American right there. That's pretty American. That's right? pretty American. Yeah. So the queen's main job is to be a political figurehead, which is what we was talking about earlier. Alongside her formal to get what? rights. Be a political figurehead. <laughs> Alongside her formal rights, which include being consulted by the prime minister and weighing in on certain national decisions, her duties are a mix of tradition and moral Morale booster. Okay, now I will say that I do see her as a morale booster. Um, I mean, because you know when times are times. Oh no, are like down. her presence matters to people. Yes, right? yeah. I mean, it don't to me, but to, to English people, it's a big deal. Yeah, but is it really? I mean, I think it's <laughs> kind hell. Of apparently, torn. apparently, it is because I mean, I had enough people come on there and bitch about me. Uh, no, those were mostly about Americans. Her. She's like the Rock of Britain. The Rock of bit like the Rock of Gibraltar. Or? No, like like the Rock. Like, oh, you mean like the actual Dwayne Johnson? Yeah, he's he's like she's like, do you smell? And they're like, oh, <laughs> they smell. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like you, a. Do you smell <laughs> what the Queen is cooking? Smell what the Queen is cooking. <laughs> Meth. 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 <laughs> Look, all I know is I would That's be, the Queen of Arkansas. I would have been I would have been more upset if it had been Queen Latifah that passed away. I'm just saying that. Love both states. I like Queen Latifah. You wouldn't have got another like got a chance to watch another terrible like series of Queen Latifah. <laughs> so how did, much do you think did that, y'all, go ahead? Jim, did y'all me. see the uh the post I put on our Facebook uh <laughs> Probably not, because we don't look at it like anyone else. Look, no it, one else looks at it. It was either. a picture of a, it was a picture of a Charles with a guitar. It said the artist formerly known as Prince. I, saw, I, saw, I did say that. It was funny. So, do you want to take a guess as to the cost in million um, British pounds per year to maintain the uh, three billion pounds? No, oh, way more. Man. I need to know the way exchange more? rate way for more. British pounds Holy. to dollars first. So for what? What exactly? To maintain the, the British of... monarchy. All right, so it is. So it ain't three million. No, nah, it's a uh, two hundred and forty-six million dollars. Not that right. pounds. What ain't right. dollars? It is one hundred million. Almost. Dang, ninety-seven. Uh, oh, what you tell us? Because we're just. But Gary makes a good point. It's so one pounds, point. Though. Actually, maybe it is. Yeah, what's the exchange rate? That's one point one six dollars per pound. So actually, it'd be a little bit less than eighty-six. Does matter? You know, eighty-seven million pounds. Mm. You know what I think the best thing come out of uh, England? What? Y'all remember the TV show, Are You Being Served? Oh, that yeah. was a great, great. Yeah, I remember that. That's on PBS, yeah. son. Yeah. yeah, when we were poor. When we were poor, we didn't have We had air. We had four channels. It was not funny, though. Me and my girl. It was watching. hilarious, It was dude. Hilarious. Mr. Peacock. Yeah. It was dumb. Hey, I would like to point out the last, like, six years of Jamie's poor life, he lived with me, so he wasn't poor. <laughs> That's right. So he did not have to watch Are You Being Served? He just chose to watch Are You But at one served? point, I did grow up in a double wide trailer with a built, like an addition built on. So at one point, we were poor. Well, I, mean, I wasn't poor. We ate. But Jamie, Jamie, <laughs> I mean, we had Jamie food. didn't seem to come around until we weren't poor no more. Well, I mean, look, that is. That's you don't want to be my friend until we weren't poor no more. <laughs> look, I know how to move in right. So, again. Mm. so if you were to talk to the new king of England, what, what, what's Fortenberry? What is uh, some advice you give this fellow? Is this the King of Pop? No, the King of England. King of England. King Charles, the whatever. It's not I Michael would, Jackson. I would ask him, what would possess you to cheat on Diane with uh, that creature that you're married to now? Isn't that the truth? Who is he married to? Uh, uh, Camilla. Camilla. Hey, Princess Caballo. Camilla Dude, Caballo. Princess Diana will put fly. Uh, Princess Diana was fine, dude. Fly. And I mean, yeah. as a grown ass man now, whoo. You like that? Man, what Camilla. you talking about? And Camille looks like a horse. Mm. And like the back end of one, not like the front side. Mm. 
I think Gary likes a back of a horse. You like the back of a horse? Gary, what would you... What do you want to say? <laughs> yeah. What well, would you like to say to King Charles from the patio? I really don't care ever since we won the Revolutionary War. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. America. 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 I don't America. care what those Britons D.W., do. you got any recommendations for mm-hmm. King Charles? Nah, let's make tea in the bay. Stay strapped, get clapped. Yep, screw George Washington. Washington. Don't get clapped. Possibly. No. Possibly. Don't get clapped. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let, let's, let's call it like it is. We don't, I mean, like. We don't care. I hate she died. I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, I we don't wish right? anybody to die. Yeah, I don't want to bag to die or nothing, but I mean, you know right, so, so it's the definition of empathy, right? So, like, I can feel bad for you because somebody died. Your dog died, right? I don't know your dog. I don't care about your dog. But I can. I had a dog one time, so I can feel bad about you. Like, if your dog Yeah, died. we had an old woman in this country that died one time. Betty White. That's right. I kind of felt bad about that. Oh, I was way more torn about Betty White. I like Betty White. I, I might have shed a tear on Betty White. I mean, yeah. she's our queen. She, yeah, hundred percent. That was our queen. Betty, Betty White was our. She queen. was a golden girl. She was Hell a golden yeah. girl. She Betty was, White. You no, know what? Betty, she's on Golden Girl. She Look, was, to uh, be honest, I was more upset about Betty White than I was the queen. I just said that. I, well, I Why did take my just telling you? Confirm. Confirm. You confirmed. You confirmed what I said. 100%. I appreciate it. It was a conform- confirmatory statement. I'm not sure I had much emotion about the queen either. Rest in peace, queen. Yeah, but. Rest in peace, Miss Betty White. That's right. You were amazing. All right. Do, do you guys? America. Do you guys want me throw something out there? One thing. You got one thing left. I'm gonna throw something out there. You say something bad about Betty. White. I'm gonna throw something out there. I'm gonna, right, you, I'm gonna call it right now. If you say Betty, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something right now. I'm gonna call it out. All right. What's called? Do, th- do you think? How long that, does Prince Charles stay alive? No, no, it has nothing to do King with that. Charles. Do you think there's gonna be more accusations come out from Meghan Markle because of this? What type of accusation? I mean, I don't. All I mean, right, look. I'm if, gonna if be quite gonna, honest. If there's gonna be a queen, it needs to be it needs to be Meghan Markle. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or mm. oh, there's a lot of you know. I was just wondering if that that was gonna occur. Yeah, she'd be the queen of my double wide trailer with polyester the polyester curtains. curtains. <laughs> the redwood deck. Redwood deck. <laughs> Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. And, yep. um, like, let, life let, in the patio. Let's turn. Late. Let's turn one up for uh, so Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, Cheers. rest in peace. Right. Cheers. 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 Skull. And so long, uh, Sa- long live King Charles. Long live King Charles. I don't know. America. All right, this is for America. you, Queen. Queen. God bless you. God bless you. America. All right, moving right along. All right, next ah. topic. So now we're gonna hit rapid fire. Pew pew okay. pew and, pew and, pew pew. The way, the way this works is we have some headlines from the week or from the day, and we'll get your first take on these headlines. All right, are you guys ready? Are you ready? We're too ready. All right, it's this one sounds ready. strange. New York governor declares disaster emergency after polio found in wastewater. Fort Bear. What? What? They found polio, <laughs> the polio virus, in <clears throat> wastewater. And they declared a state of emergency. Who's drinking wastewater? Exactly, but the, what, do you, what do you think about that? New York governor declared. Don't drink it. That's my hey. That's my hot take. Don't drink wastewater. So I think it says wastewater, but it probably means like the. Does that mean the sanitized water? Yeah, no, it means wastewater. It means the the poop, the sewage. Sounds oh. like polio got lost. Okay, so do we care if polio is found in the wastewater? Aren't they I assume fix? there's probably all kinds of stuff in wastewater. Are they going to fix would that? Think so. I guarantee you, there's staff. There, there might be something going on that we're not smart enough to figure out, but I'm gonna. My look, there are probably a lot of worse things than polio in your way. Bold water. statement don't drink waste water. Don't drink waste water. Look, that's that's hey I'm, man, what's next? Don't right. bathe in it either. Rapid uh, fire. Next, Europe could see a devastating event as power producers face $1.5 trillion in margin calls. What in margin calls? In margin calls, they're buying like they're calling back uh debts. That's the fake butter. Margarine. Margarine. Oh, no, Shot up. I had, a, I had an aunt, aunt Margaret. A margarine call shot up. I, I'll be honest. I don't have much opinion on that. I'm not yeah. really sure what the hell we America. Talk. I don't care what happens yeah. in Europe. Screw don't them. Care. Screw don't them care. Uh, next. Next. Stop it. You is a housing market that. crash coming? Mm-hmm. Gary, do you think a housing market crash is coming? Yes. <laughs> Simple. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's why, a, why do you think so? Uh, inflation's through the roof. They're also going to also give a lot of, uh, approve a lot of loans out to people without good credit is what I'm hearing as well. Mm. And then that happened in Arizona where a bunch of people did that and lost their house or left their houses. And that's where the market crash. I think it's just overbought. It's bound to crash. I don't, I don't know if things going to crash. I think it is going to come down. 
I think it's it's inflated right now. I don't know, I don't know if it'll crash. So look who. So I think more importantly, who does it matter to? So like me, the I just bought a house. I spent money. I built a house. I don't plan on going anywhere. Yeah, if you don't plan on leaving, I'm it. comfortable with my payment. Um, so I'm I'm fine as long as you don't have a variable rate. It shouldn't affect you, right? No. Nah, like, VA don't. Unless you're planning on selling anytime soon, no, I don't think it should. Yeah, be. people are gonna sell or gonna lose their ass, but I mean, yeah, like right now may not be the best time to take that that chunk of money. Right? That, that's what, yeah. and that's kind of what I'm getting at. Is I, yeah, I think the I think the housing market is gonna have a shift. I don't know necessarily know if it's gonna crash. Yeah, sometimes it's better houses just houses to sit are down, gonna right? be permanently more expensive. Probably for a little bit. Probably uh, forever. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. yeah. That's, so, I mean, yeah, I don't know about crash, but it'll, it'll definitely have a shift. Well, you know, we got a call from a realtor, like, I mean, not two months after we finished building our house. And they were like, they basically told us, you know, it's, it's a rough time. Like, it was expensive to buy a house in. Mm-hmm. So, they were like, we get you $80,000 more dollars. I get, I get your house contacted right now. twice a week. Right. People interested in buying, yeah. but it's uh, not, me, me it's, too. Terry, it's not too. worth it because what Twice are you going to go? They buy? keep calling me, my wife. Well, that's my thing. So I had I had somebody tell me they would uh, get me about eighty grand more than my house worth. What are worth. you going to go buy? That's Dude, I couldn't right? fit Fortenberry Nation. <laughs> in, Fortenberry Nation. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of us. I couldn't fit us all in. Uh, Jeremy needs a mansion. All so. right, next take. Seattle's teachers union shut students out of school once again. Just for the record, I was still talking. Yeah, it's time yeah he's, he's so pushing that along. again. How dare talking. you cut him off? He's the Seattle's moderator. Seattle's teachers union shut students out of school once Nobody again. Nobody care about Seattle. Uh, why? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Is there more to it? Yeah, because they're on strike. Why are they on strike for? Why? Students in Seattle apparently didn't suffer enough from the school closures brought on by bureaucrats. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that's what I was trying. Democratic politicians <laughs> and teachers union. Yeah. Now the teachers uh, union is shuttering schools. Are you reading this from Fox? Again. No, actually it's not. It's from Washington Examiner. The Seattle Education Association authorized a strike on Tuesday, keeping 54,000 students out of school. Is there a strike for a, a pay raise? Uh, they're demanding higher pay okay, as well okay. as other programs and holding students hostage at the start of school year to achieve them. I think that's a little, little, little yeah, it is that, that's probably a little extreme hostage. They're keeping yeah. them from going to I mean, because first of all, they can go home. That's kind of yeah. crazy, but, but man, pay, Dude, the, pay, the, teachers, man. Here, pay uh, the teachers, man. Pay the teachers. Yeah. They're, so yeah, pay them. Me and, me and DW both, our wives are teachers, and they don't get paid enough. Yeah, so your wife teaches high school now? High school math. Yeah, so my wife, my wife's a college professor. Yeah, pay the teachers. Pay them. Oh, pay crap. the teachers. Yeah. But do you guys realize how much? Even though everybody thinks that these are just kids not going to school, you know how much effect that has on those people in Huge Seattle's effect. family. That's insane because they expect their kids going to school. Now they have to find somebody to watch their kids so they can go to work. You know how hard that sure. is. That is insanely hard. If I was a parent, I'd be a school. Are a parent. I am a parent. <laughs> <laughs> just, just throw that out. There but but so not you know. not a Seattle kid parent. I don't want you to forget. You got a little nation going on too. I, I, I do. I, you know, I may be the the baby of the patio, but I have the most babies in the patio. You too. do have the most babies. <laughs> in the patio. You are uh, full fledged. Uh, right. Okay, we? next topic. Pew! The New York Pew! Times reports Republicans winning the White House could plunge U.S. and world into chaos. New York Times congressional correspondent <laughs> warned that chaos could ensue if Republicans take control of the House of Representatives because they haven't done that. D.W. Enough? Democrats had plunged it into chaos already. I, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, I mean, it's been utter chaos for the last uh, 18 months. So here's the report. In this report published uh, last Thursday, he claimed that the potential influx of new GOP lawmakers that have fringe positions and who have espoused conspiracy theories could hamper the government in its ability to do everything tasked. But isn't that what he's had in place? Uh, he's had the House. He's had the Senate. This is Biden I'm talking about, the yeah, president. I, he's had both. So He ain't had shit. But Somebody he, hasn't, been, has. he, just but he hasn't been able to push anything through. Because they don't want to. The, politics, as usual, is to have um, an item discussions like abortion or free college education or... What? Freak? Free. Oh, they said that's the whole. That's the whole point. Both sides. All they want to do is have one item to, uh, for everybody to argue over, 
And that's all they'll vote on. You also form a, like a crazy bill with a couple of little items that you want yeah. to pass that you truly want. Yeah, to like you have a great bill, then you put in there, you know, we're gonna murder all yellow cats. So, so we're gonna we're gonna do a play <laughs> on words, is what you're saying. Well, it's not a play on words. It's no, both it's just, lying. Oh, it's just yeah. You're like, burying you're burying important stuff in good bills, and then you bitch because they don't pass. You are. You're sneaking stuff in, right? That oh, mm-hmm. supports your. But agenda. we underestimate their now, sneakiness. Now, to be honest, both parties do it. No, right? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. No, look, I know you didn't. But I am a full believer that both sides are the same shitty side of one coin. Hundred percent. I yeah, I, I, I kind of believe you're better off what, having the what two houses different. So what are y'all's thoughts on uh, on doing uh, rank voting? I think we need to do rank voting as a uh, society. Explain rank voting. Uh, thank you. I was going to ask Yeah, ex- Okay, explain. so like if all four of us are running for president. <laughs> Hot damn. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do it. Hey, let's go, America. Let's do it. So somebody can come in there and vote. Me one, Terry two, Donnie three, Gary four. I demand Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and if... I don't catch 50% of the uh, vote. The next person on his list, they just move them up. So they take they take you out if you aren't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said it backwards. So, yeah. like, say if yeah. Gary was the last one, he only got like 3% of the vote. So you, no, he, no, he no I, got, moved, I got four. And all his votes go to the highest. So instead of ranking, you just vote for one person, you rank one, two, three, four. Yeah, but but so basically, uh, that, yeah, so, so yeah, so you rank them by you, like you order, three, right? Yeah, you, you rank. So who instead you want of the voting, most. so instead of basically, instead of voting for one person, you you vote for all four, but you vote for them. In so order. like, here's a good yeah, example. Yeah, so like, I this, like this last election, I would have uh, wanted to cast my vote, my vote for Yeezy 2020. Yeezy, Yeezy, but. I knew my my Yeezy vote wasn't gonna count because he wasn't gonna win. I still want some Yeezy. So what could what I could have done is I could have voted Yeezy one, Trump two, mm. and if if uh, Yeezy didn't get high enough votes, then my vote to Trump would have been pulled forward, and it'd been a vote for. So Trump. you wanted to vote for Yeezy, man? Yeezy twenty twenty. I want Wu Tang twenty twenty, but they didn't run. <laughs> Wu Tang twenty twenty. I'd, I'd say Project Pat would be a good candidate. Dang, so Project. Hey, hey, Project Pat. He is a felon though. I doubt he, he can grill a pimp though. Cocaine sales be through the roof, but Project Pat can make some stuff happen. Make it happen. Ah, late night. Next tip. topic. Mm-hmm. He'd be giving the, America that late night tip. <laughs> <laughs> this goes back to um, it's not exactly the Seven Eleven swords that. Gary turned us on to, but a woman was beheaded with a sword by her ex. Oh, hot damn! In front of her, or of horrified onlookers. I would uh, suspect they were horrified. It occurred in San Francisco in the Bay Area. Of course, it did. What kind of sword? Ninja uh, sword. Probably a ninja sword. We need to know. Same She's way. only in her twenties with two daughters who have uh, not officially been identified. But uh, sources say that she uh, obtained a restraining order against the man identified as Jose Solano <laughs> Landeto of Hayward. <laughs> Landeto is now into custody after being arrested at the scene of the beheading where authorities said he returned. Wow. So he chopped her head off and then came back. It just sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, that sounds like some, uh, some cartel stuff. Yeah, that's messed up right there. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what response you want wanting from us. Besides, uh, I will say this: I will go on a limb. I have one hundred percent of his beheadings. All right, I, I'll go out on a limb and say this sword did one hundred percent not come from a gas station. I don't know about that. Not with sharp. Yeah, I know Gary was feels different. I feel very strongly about swords come from gas stations. It was sharp. You can get sharp swords from the gas station. All right, next topic. Washington lies. from the Washington Examiner. No lies. Migrant busts migrants bust to sanctuary city Chicago are shipped <laughs> off to the suburbs. So the migrants come across the border. They're shipped up north. They've been sending them to New York, but send them to Chicago. I and think, the mayor of uh, Chicago says, let's send them to the suburbs. You talking about Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. <laughs> I think. Uh, Don't Lightfoot. say her name three times. Beetlejuice, okay. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Lauren Lightfoot is going to show up in our uh, podcast. I think she just did. But anyway, she's shipping those buses directly to the suburbs. So didn't one of us see a bus load? I think I could have. When I was traveling ah. earlier this week, mm. I think I ran into a bus load of those. But And it looked as if they were headed to Chicago, but I didn't get to talk to them. So if you could have, would you know what they're saying? They spoke a little English. They were like, uh, no, I guess that was Spanish. 
So, <laughs> spoke, <laughs> uh, spoke mostly Spanish. They I was thinking they spoke English, but I understood Terry's those two words. I remember, I remember being a young lad hearing <laughs> Spanish for the first time, thinking this person is speaking Klingon. <laughs> I had no clue what was being said to me. But you knew Klingon. <laughs> Jamie just said, "Live I mean, long yeah, and prosper." Who, who don't know Klingon? Terry, oh. me, and, me and Terry went to the Dominican Republic this year, and we had a waiter. What was his name? Klingon. Uh, the pool guy. The pool guy. There was two of them. Bendy. Bendy, Bendy, Bendy. was one of them. Bendy, Bendy. was one of them. Oh, he was like, really good. That sounds like something you was asking. Javier. To be Bendy. Hot Bendy, and that's what I want to do. I, want to, I know they're not listening, yeah. but I want to give a shout out to Bendy and Javier because they yeah. kept the drinks flowing. They sound did. like cool dudes. Margaritas, they were, and man, they were. Really we tipped them well, and I guarantee you, if we go back next year, they'll still be there. We need to get Bendy and Javier on this podcast. They 100%. Sound really cool. We probably couldn't great find guys. them. Again. We probably couldn't yeah. find them. But if they hear guys. us, if we have that type of reach, my come boy, to our podcast. My boy, I think we need to find a girl named Bendy. My boy Javier There's was one missing in a Australia, finger. Australia, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, a crocodile hunter. Hmm? Crocodile hunter's uh, daughter, her name is Bendy. She right. Bendy, his name is Stabby. <laughs> well, he got stuck in the heart by he got he got shot through the heart. Hey, look, I won't, fight, the plane. I won't fight you over the queen, but I'll fight you over Crocodile Hunter. You know what? When when this fine gentleman who I did love uh, died, oh, Puddin' uh, D-Rock called me and said, see, see what those stingrays will do to you? Yep. Psychologists say there's a rise in the number of lonely single men. Mm. There was I an article disagree. from Psychology Day titled The Rise of Lonely Single Men. About straight men being the lonely, loneliest they've been in generations. I fully disagree. It Look, says dude. that uh, dating opportunities are diminishing. Straight yeah. men represent 62% of the dating app users. All right, so look, it's dating apps. Get out. Yeah. Get, I blame out, get out in the world. Drink a beer. Go to the Flying Saucer in Memphis. Hallelujah. Look, I, the, the reason I disagree drink a beer with that is. find a lady. A, a, a lot of men don't actually give a shit about dealing with these uh, old crusty ass women now that want to uh, every one of them thinks they're a 10 mm -hmm. and then we go out there and talk <laughs> bad about men they got you had to be six foot and six inches and make six figures anybody worry about y'all gary's a mark of the beast <laughs> he, broke all, he broke all three mark of the beast 10, yeah, 10, how, 10. how you over six 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 <laughs> but here's the thing people got to realize you to form a relationship you got to do more than swipe left is it left 100 percent right? Uh, left swipe. Right. I don't even know. Which I don't. Way I have no clue. I swipe up. Uh, if I ever got single again, which I, I please, dear Lord, not my wife would take me for everything I'm worth because I got. Are you four worth kids. it? That's why no, I try to be no. worthless. Yeah, I'm trying. You're a smart man, Jamie. Yeah. But uh, that can't take me for nothing but, if I ain't but, got nothing. But I don't like have no clue what to do, how to date, or anything like that. Like, what do I do with my thumbs? You know, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So along similar lines. So we just talked about lonely hey, men, right? That doesn't sound much oh. much different in high school. Yeah. For real. <laughs> I didn't know what to do then. We just talked about lonely men. So the next topic are nuclear families at risk of extinction. What's a yes. nuclear family? Nearly a quarter of children born since the year two thousand were raised in single parent households. Uh, ah. you have touched on a subject that I have uh, a lot of opinions on. Um, it, it's us. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a population. There's only one race that's a, uh, and I hate to bring race into it, there's only one race that's uh, not falling into uh, the fracturing of the nuclear home, and that is uh, the Asians, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as a people, we've done terribly. And children well, I mean, need. If you, if you, so if you really break us down as a country as a whole, um, it does, because I think it became, there's two different Dude, time points, right? It, in the early 20s, in in the turn of the century, the 1900s, um, and the family structure was strong. Dude, uh, we, have a, we have a problem with uh, fractured homes. No, yeah, the nuclear family. Do. The and nuclear it's, family. It's not black and white, though. No, no, it's not black and white. No, fractured homes. Our government, our government has, has has whored out women to be uh, the prostitute for the uh, government. 100%. The, they pay them for having kids out of wedlock. Mm-hmm. Then we uh, pay for the kids to go to school. We we do all this stuff. Meanwhile, we don't hold men responsible. Nope. Not so. A lot of times it is like women looking for love and men just <laughs> giving them babies. Quit looking for shitty men. Yeah. Yep. But but it, don't, uh, dude, <sighs> if you if you're going to church looking for men, you'll find a lot better men than going going to the strip club or going man, to the I, club. Right. 
All right, so let's think about this. Let's, yeah, let's like, think Like, I'm about playing it. Devil, devil's advocate here, right? I, so I'm a single I'm guy. I'm playing Jesus' advocate. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Jesus. <laughs> so I'm a single guy, right? You're a single I'm going to tell you. I'm tell you're you a, apparently a taking guy, Jesus' advocate. But um, he is taking. If I want to go to the club, time. whatever, like I hook up with a girl, mm -hmm. give her a baby, I can disappear into thin air. Mm -hmm. right? Sure can. She, she can't leave that. No. Right. But you know what she can do? She can. Just, she, hold on. She can decide not to just spread she, them legs. She can choose that. But, yes, that's, but that's, I mean, they're capable of it. I don't know, man. It's, are we saying women are so weak that they can't decide not to have sex no. with us? Like. I, I think it's. I think we're getting off in the weeds here. Yeah, the question was about the, the nuclear weeds. family. You know, the nuclear family is this: it's a, a mother and a father that share responsibilities of the family. Now, whether they work or not, that's totally separate. So we're starting. Can over. a homosexual family be a nuclear no, family? Starting over. It's just clarification. Can a homosexual family be a nuclear? I don't know. Family? Can it? I don't know. Hey, I the, think it could. Let me, so, let me give the. I know. Uh, so as I think a, it could. Now, I, I, I think two homosexual parents can love their children. Don't as, be wrong. As a fresh starting point, define the nuclear family. You just did. It, it's two well, parents. I, I, I missed it. It's oh. two, two parents. parents. Two, two parents. parents. Just two parents. Any gender, race. Yes. Anything. Well, the I think the original definition is a man and a woman. It is. Eh, but, but whatever. But I think but, I think. But Jay, before Barry asked a good question, can it be uh, two same sex? And I think it can. Yes, two, yeah. two same I, sex I, people I, can raise a great kid. Uh, yes, but I don't yes. think that's a nuclear family. Now, uh, it's probably you're, you're the looking modern at the definition. definition. You're looking for a but, definition. But is, do, isn't do, it closer to a modern definition? Let me ask you this: do, do, do young boys need a father? Yes. So if you have two okay, women, can so they have I, a father? So I'll put it this way: do. I think young boys need a male role model. Role model. Okay, yeah, now, okay. Now, does it necessarily, Do, can you have two gay women that... Was a male role model. That have a son or adopt a son through some form, right? Mm -hmm. And then the Good, male... They could be great parents. Hold on. And then I'm just the, adding to And it. then the male role model be one of their brothers. So you just got to risk yeah. it that there's a dude floating around nah, somewhere. like, what if you... What if you... Like, think about my sisters, right? What if, I have. My, if by some chance? <laughs> <laughs> that was don't dark. edit that. That was dark. Don't, look, don't edit that. But I will. I will fight you. Right? I will still fight you as a grown man. Okay? Oh God! All right. I They're will, about to thumb fight, guys. I'll drown. No, I ain't gonna be thumb fight. I'll drown you in Terry's pool. Oh, okay. Keep going. All right, but so you got two. <laughs> they're fist bumping. But I mean, honestly, if you have two women and they and they have a child by some by adoption or mm -hmm. by uh, I don't know what it's called in vitro fertilization, yeah, yeah. in yeah, vitro that. in vitro fertilization. So, but what if you look at that brother for the male role model? I mean, I know a lot of people probably think that male role model is important, but I think I think it is. If no, it's very male, important. Right? But but um, I think I think what you're doing though is you're also now I, I'm no way saying that. Two women can't be wonderful parents and loving and nurturing, but we, you know, I think we've decided we believe that a young male, a young boy, needs a male role model. It is an important influence. So I think where also, can you I think any child needs a loving family. I think, I think so too. Because supportive you need <laughs> family. A little girl. That's where they. That's where they learn how. And to, the nuclear family, Fortenberry is right, is defined as primarily a heterosexual married couple. So. There have been plenty of people who have been raised up by a single mom who didn't have a solid father figure, right? But I think most of the time you find that at some point in your life. Whether whether you end up being... I, yes, I, I agree. But I think what I'm getting at is when you... And I am not throwing homosexual couples under the bus. No, absolutely But not. when you say, okay, we're going to have two women that are going to raise a son, you're taking a gamble that there is... That there eventually somebody will show up that can be a positive real male role model. I don't think so. I think it Why? depends. I think it also is depends there always going to be a positive male role model. Well, so when I talk about this story, I have two people in mind, right? Um, give us names, and they're both friends of mine. I won't give you names, but, <sighs> but I don't, I don't think they're going to push their kid either way. Well, like, I'm not talking about push them either I, way. I think they'll allow positive <laughs> role models of any kind. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about pushing right? kids. Okay, we've in gotten off in the weeds. The we original question: Are our nuclear families at risk of extinction? And we yes. Have any yes. 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 They're at it. Yes. And, and I think 100%. it's correlated. I think it's correlated yes. with God being taken out of 
society. I think so too. That's yeah, why I, be, I, I was it, it, it's not it's not the fact I hate to say say it, it's not the fact of just God being going being taken out. It's because of the mora- more, the, morality. The, the, the morality. Yeah. Well, and, and, and our our society is built on a uh a Christian society. It, yeah. It's what it is. Well, you know, we, under life, God life is what it says. Not, I mean, and I was not saying you gotta be Christian, but that is what our society's built on. But it's the based morality on of it. Biblical morality, right? Yes. And a lot of times the old testament really. <sighs> Yeah, I had a preacher, you know, growing up. I did I did go to church. I do believe in God. You know, was doing a sermon and he, he went on about, you know, what if God wasn't real? What's the worst thing that could happen? I agree. It is what you lived a good life with good morals, and you you die, well, you and and you and, have no existence beyond that. You know, yeah. existence beyond but, but that. You, but you what's the worst thing? That, shit. You weren't. Exactly. You you help yeah. people because you were living. You believed in God, I, and you're following the well, rules. I heard the one time, and, and the preacher said, "What if God was one of us? What yeah. if God was?" That was a good song. How was this? You know, she was mm. going around. It was in black and white. I remember Actually, the music was, video. I believe it was Nietzsche uh, that had. Uh, he was one of the philosophers that had theorized exactly what you were just saying. Mm-hmm. So what if he, he, he used logic to determine if God exists and he, he, he did pros and cons. And in the end, he surmised it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter because if you believe in God and follow his teachings and live a good life mm-hmm. and you did the things you're supposed to do, that you have a much more fulfilling life. You're, you're at least and it a doesn't better matter person. What happens? At the end, of it. agreed. I agree because, because yeah. honestly, like honestly, like my my heart's pretty cold. If if I didn't have mar- morals, mm-hmm. like I, I could be a bad person. <laughs> I mean, that's just honest to God. I could be a bad person, right? But I really do think morals and just the general moral compass matters a lot. I don't know where it comes from, but. It's instilled into us as a child. It is. I, I, think, I, I know that's a. I think morality and humanity go hand in hand. I think you know the right direction, mm-hmm. right? Um, yeah, and but I you, think you could, you could still be hard and have humanity, though. Yes, a hundred percent. Regardless whether you believe in a god or not, I think you still have a general belief in morality. So where does morality come from, right? Remember, where does it's, that it's better to be a warrior on a farm than a farmer in a war. Yeah, or a garden, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. good topics. We're going to touch back on these at some point, I'm sure, as we go along. Uh, i got a couple more headlines, and um, then I can't remember what we were going to finish with. Our Super Bowl Super Bowl, yeah. Super Bowl. Uh, this is an interesting topic. As... Um, when you look at our leaders in Washington on television, you find that strong they're leaders. quite very well. They're old leaders. No, mm-hmm. I'm strong. Can't none of them dead live. But here's a recent <laughs> poll. Get out of here. Seventy three percent of Americans are tired of the gerontocracy and want age limits on election. Damn business. right. Hallelujah. Look, I put I some got, fresh blood in there. Do, man. do you know what will fix this? It's Joe called Biden it, is seventy nine, Nancy Pelosi eighty two, Mitch McConnell eighty. It's called term limits. Trump's what seventy four. Term be limits. Seven, will he's seventy six. If no, you too old, old man. Too term, old. Term limits. Term limits. No, so no, not average, term limits. Age limit. The yeah. average age of but senators term limits is sixty four right? yeah. years old. Term limits. Uh, most people are retiring at that age. Yeah, we have all these people in their 80s that are still making decisions. Look, my dad's 80 years old. I wouldn't want him in any type of decision. Look, I mean, honestly, by the time I'm 80 years old, dude, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, I hope I know where the bathroom is at 80. Exactly. Like, I just yeah, don't you will be in your you britches. It, well, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that physically isn't where the bathroom in my <laughs> house is, I guess. But, uh, it'll be wherever you're sitting. It's wherever you're sitting. All right, next topic. Moving on from uh, quick text. I think that was some good... Uh, back and forth we tend to get in the weeds but the weeds sometimes is where we like to live here in life from the patio weeds weeds uh, now we're going to go and talk about this is the opening weekend of nfl football by the time we um we put out this episode the uh, first week's games will all be over with but we're going to talk about who do you think and I'm not talking about odds in uh, in Vegas or at any of the the gambling houses. Who do you who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl, Gary? Well, my heart is in Atlanta. 
Well, oh my, my that ain't where the trophy's going to be. My heart's uh, there, the be. but my mind and every other part of my body is saying Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Mm. The Natty Joe Bengals. Joe Burrows. Uh, who are they going to play? Uh, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not playing. Undisputed champions. The undisputed, undisputed <laughs> champion of the be, world. Because, because when they play somebody, they're going to be a nobody once they're done, son. Wow. But what about, okay, so you got Kansas City, their AFC team. They play in the same division as Baltimore and, and Pittsburgh and Cleveland, so hey, they should they should have a pretty – Hey, didn't Kansas City get chance. rid of their number one receiver? I'm not sure about that. I believe they did. Mm. Yeah, they did. Who Who is Cincinnati's sure number one rid of or two right or three receiver? They got rid of a guy named Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, he seemed a little fast, didn't he? A little bit fast. Little Cincinnati's bit fast. still so pretty So you got loaded. Cincinnati, who are they playing, dude? I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She got Cincinnati. All Joe, right. Joe Money going to get it. Fortenberry. Who you got winning Super Man, Bowl? Man, I think I said this for two years now. I got the Bills. The Bills. Beating Uh-oh, the Packers. Got, oh. <laughs> Do you, you know that oh, the wow. Packers is who I was going to say is also playing in the Super Bowl? No. Oh, really? I was. No. Who's their receivers? They don't need any. All right, so you're going to take out the receivers. You're going to have Aaron Rodgers. Who's Aaron Rodgers going to throw the ball to? Because he can't run no more. Lazard, is he not going to play the first game? It don't matter, I probably said that incorrectly. It it does not matter who he has. Uh, It does matter. He looks like he's still in Cadillac Converters. Did they also lose their number one receiver as well? Don't matter. That's probably the number one receiver in the NFL. And NFL went to... The okay, Vegas. so hold Vegas on. Raiders. You had your opportunity to pick an NFC. Yeah. So you know what? You, you team to compare against, you, Gary. You, you, and y'all are you, all idiots. You, you didn't that. say Green Bay. So who is your guy? Who, what I is told your you NFC? Cincinnati. But who's they your, can't play who's themselves. They're going to play themselves. <laughs> okay, he said that it's, uh, he's you know taking what? the field. No, you know. you Atlanta, they're going to play Atlanta. Gary got the field. Oh, my play Atlanta. gosh. <laughs> You're going to argue with him about the Bills beating the Packers? By uh, by all right. countering with all right. Atlanta, you might as well say the Cowboys. I'm gonna say New play. Orleans. New Orleans got a shot. Yes. No, not really. Yeah, they, yes, they do. The COVID ah, shot. They yes, got some they, good players. Man. They got some good players, and I do have a little bit of faith in James. Okay, so you believe New Orleans has a higher likelihood than the Packers? Yes, the I higher do. Higher likelihood <laughs> yes. than the Buccaneers? Yes. Tom Brady's done. I'm sorry. I love Tom and Brady. A higher likelihood than the defending champion, the um, L.A. Rams. Did you see Stafford the other night? I I did. Uh, game one doesn't make mm. one game doesn't make a season. Uh, he didn't. I'm he's, just, playing, Staff, he's playing. He's playing the look championship right. Bills, though. The championship yeah. Bills. That's according to Fortenberry. They got, yeah, I mean, they got mm-hmm. not smoke, but kind of smoke. They got smoked, and Stafford didn't look good. He he, he was missing good. passes. Okay, so we got two AFC teams. We got the Bengals over here with Gary. We got the Bills over here with Fortenberry. DW, who you got winning Super Bowl? I think Bills going to win the Super Bowl. So we got mm. two Bills. Uh, who mm. are they going to play? That's the year of Josh Allen. It's Josh Allen. Who you who are they gonna play, DW? Uh, Josh Allen. Packers? Packers. No. So no. the Bills uh, and yeah, Packers. I mean, we got two for the Packers. I, I mean, Actually, we got three for the Packers. But very, I also no, think the Packers. So like that's not Bowl. very sexy, right? Because you right. already said Packers. No, but yeah, Packers is probably I mean, they're the solid Packers, team. Like Bills, and I Packers? actually like the Bills a lot, and I really like Cincinnati, but I'm gonna have to be I'm going to go out here on a limb, okay? I'm going to say that the I'm, – I'm going to narrow it down a little bit. I'm going to say that the uh, champion of the Super Bowl comes from the AFC. I'm going to say the champion of the Super Bowl comes from the AFC West, and it's not the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The Raiders. No, I think it could be any of the other three. The Raiders. I think it could be the I Broncos. Think the Raiders you could picked be good, the division. Man. I like, no, I I picked, like the Broncos. He picked this year. the, I the Broncos. I, think Broncos I do good. like the Broncos. I think that it could. I think the it Raiders may have one of the best teams they've ever had. Yeah, but my yes. man picked the division. We had a big team. No, I was narrowing it down. I was trying to make it a little bit <laughs> interesting, right? I think it'll be the AFC. I think it'll be <laughs> the. I believe an NFL team will win it. <laughs> I got it. NFL teams all the way. The yeah, San Diego Chargers. Win uh, the Super Bowl. All right, shut this podcast down right now. <laughs> all right. San Diego Chargers. Hold on, I'm not. And I'm they play not. the Packers. All right, no. 
So Chargers, I'm not completely against it. Like I'm, the I'm Chargers. your supporter here. I think it's Chargers. Well, actually, this I like man, the Bills. The this most, man but also said Notre Dame was a good team. Yes. They were. I know how they were one time. Right. They were for a half. Marshall, Marshall, but they played. Like they played <laughs> three halves or four halves that are in trouble. Yeah, Marshall would like a word. Right? Yes. All I gotta say is I can't wait till February when the Super Bowl rolls around and we we're looking back at this episode and oh, notice the Packers didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, all I know is I can't wait for that. We oh, picked it. We picked a team. Oh, I can't wait for that. Look, Aaron Rodgers, he is zen. He is in tune. He has his, nobody to throw it to. He's in tune with his bodily harmonics. He can throw it to himself. Lazard's had his chance to be the number one receiver, and he has not shown up. Hey, I've got a little trivia for you. I did Go not for draft Lazard. A little trivia for you, and it's something that you may actually like win something someday. Oh. oh. Brett Favre's first pass in the NFL mm. was to who? Himself. That's exactly right. Is it? I win. You know, How about that bottle hey, of uh, Brett, F- Brett Favre? I believe the first, I believe the first touchdown hold was on, also intercepted. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Who, who drafted Brett Favre? The Atlanta. Favre. Favre. That is correct. It's full circle. Falcons gonna win it all. So look, why is why is you it, didn't, uh, but you didn't pick the Falcons. I did not. Uh, why is it pronounced Brett Favre? Hey, did Brett Favre when get it, a lot of money Favre. for doing nothing? He did from the state of Mississippi. He sure did. But, yeah, he uh, sure did. Why that, is it pronounced Brett Favre when it's the R in Favre. front of the? Well, that's the topic we're going to Favre. Yeah. We need to talk about that. Or one did day. we already talk? We about no, didn't talk about. Favre. Favre. Okay, just to recap, we got Gary over here going with Cincinnati. We and got, nobody else. It's be up. No, they're going. I, 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 I did say the Aints. I did say the Aints. Okay. No, actually, you said the Falcons. He you said Aint <laughs> Green Bay, no, and he, then you said the Saints. He said Joe Burrow. He gonna lead them all the way. He gonna be wearing fur. Out on that That's field, right. so we got Fort Bay right. and DW both heavily on the Bills, Bills. bandwagon. Right Bills, probably bandwagon. Packers. Man, Bills. let's pick the best team after the first game. Yeah, and so that's uh, generally know, how that works. Like both no, y'all, no, no. but I'm going out 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 west, and I'm gonna pick a, a division. Say the Chargers. Think, no, I'm saying the Chargers. <laughs> I, I think Josh Allen's a difference. He's, he's I picked the state of California. In. I think Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs that combo. It's just good. Trey Knox is going to be good in that combo, yeah, too. I mean, they, a, they got weapons. It's just good, right? And their defense. You mean Dawson? Dawson. Dawson. <laughs> Trey Knox. Trey Knox. Play for Knox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? But I like Trey Knox, too. The yeah. Trey you're thinking of plays for the Titans, right? No, that's no, that's Trey, Trey Long Burr. Burr. No, that's, oh that's my what I'm, God. No, that's what I'm saying. The Trey, Trey Knox plays the Trey for Trey Burks plays for he played for Trey Arkansas Knox uh, is a tight end for Arkansas. <laughs> well, look, we're gonna we're gonna play out based on that. No, these guys still can't figure out who these players are and who they play for. But they picked a couple of uh, Super Bowl winners. And yeah, we didn't pick a division like some people. Go out and find us on Apple Podcasts, Google, or Spotify, all the normal places. Visit us at lifefromthepatio.com. Hit the like button. Tell us what you think. Pick these. Monterey Project. Hallelujah. Because somebody done took from an outlaw. Take my picture down. Where from else the they find it? Did you, did you do Facebook? I'm you living Facebook? in the clouds and I ain't gonna fall. Hey, we're Somebody on Facebook too, people. Outlaw. Outlaw. <laughs>